Hello everyone, my name is Fuzum Dalaon. Today I'll show you how to perform man candle trend analysis for the time series with no significant autocorrelation using modified MK package. In the last video, I've shown you how to perform trend analysis for the time series with significant autocorrelation. So today I'll show you how to perform the trend analysis for the time series with with no significant autocorrelation for example if you see from this excel sheet with the time series with false doesn't exhibit significant autocorrelation so today i'll show you how to perform the trend analysis using the modified M mk package in r studio so open your r studio So last time we have we have employed this function in order to analyze the trend analysis for the time series with significant autocorrelation. But today I'll show you how to perform the trend analysis for the time series with no significant autocorrelation, and then we'll we will use this function from the modified mk package which is mk t test so okay let me let me bring my data sets i'll bring the same data sets from the last video Okay, this is the data sets. Import. Okay, imported. So first we'll assign vector variable for each for each time step. For example, let me give or let me assign x1 for January first type the station name then x1 January hit enter copy this one paste it replace with two this one for fail hit enter x3 I'm not going to do for all. I only show you for the first three months. March. So if you see from the Excel, this the first three months. They don't have significant autocorrelation in their time series. So we'll use different function from that of time series with significant autocorrelation so we have assigned we have assigned vector variable so in order to perform the trend analysis come here and type the name of the package modified mk package then Type MK T T test, then type X one, then hit enter. So this is the Z value, which is two point six four, and this is the sine slope, and this is the S value. This is the variance. This is the P value. So from the P value. And from Z value, you can see that there is significant increase in trend with sense slope of this much around 0 0.06. So, in January, we have significant increasing trend for the FAV MKT 
test next so e intro for this one our let one is less than 1.96 and our p value is greater than 0 0.05 so because of that we can see that there is no significant trend in this time series our sine slope is this much but the trend is not significant for the mars mkt test x3 it in there i think there is some problem okay so there is there was a problem when we assigned the value let me assign it again x3 assign and this merge it enter so we have assigned the vector value type it mk t t test then type x3 this is for the merge it enter so our z value is still less than 1.96 our p value is greater than 0 0.05 our x is positive but our z value is less than 1.96 and p value is greater than 0 0.05 so from this we can see that there is increasing trend but the the trend is no significance so for the time series with no significant autocorrelation we can do the trend analysis by using mk t test from the modified mk package from the modified modified mk package let me show you the original modified mk package file So our this is the function which is in the page six page six so this is the the test the monk handle trend test time series data with out any modification so you can use this function for the time series with no significant autocorrelation but if there is significant autocorrelation in your time series you can use all these functions except this one except this mkt test that's why i was saying in the last video we cannot use modified mk package if our time series is not significantly correlated so you can do trend analysis for the time series with no significant autocorrelation by following the same procedures thank you for listening if you like this video please subscribe my channel bye